because this is the highest natural source of water. Uh, above this, there is no natural source. So as the locks uh, are opened and now boats go up and down, they consume a large amount of water. So that has to be replaced, and the pumping station was built here in 1809 to replace the water. So this boiler has two flues. The fumes go to the end of the boiler, the fumes come back again underneath, and then they go around the side and back up the flue. The water level is shown here. So it's about two thirds full of water. It holds about 4,000 gallons, and the rest on the top is steam. And right on the top, we have one of the main safety valves. And if the pressure goes above the red line, then that uh, safety valve lifts the steam comes out, it fills this whole room with steam and makes an awful lot of noise. We use coal from, which comes from Warwickshire coal field. It comes down by lorry. Of course, originally it would come down by, by canal boat. Uh, it burns about a tonne and a half, or a tonne and a quarter, a tonne and a half, every, time, every day we steam it. So it consumes an awful lot of coal. And it's all shoveled in by the boilermen uh, during their day's duty. We're on the driving platform where the driver controls the starting and the stopping and the running of the engine. We start the engine for about the first five minutes. It started manually because the beam is in balance. There's a great weight uh, on this end, which is the piston, and on the other end is the pump. And, and until the water has pumped up the 40 feet and filled the pump shaft, then there's an imbalance in the engine and we have to be very careful when we're starting. Okay, here we are at the cylinder level of uh, Croft and Beam engines, and this is where the steam is let into the cylinders. The steam comes underneath the floor from the boiler and come up these two red valves. It then can be diverted into number one engine or into number two engine.
And we can see the two beams here, which is number one engine, which is the 1812, and the background is number two engine, which was built in 1846. And on this end is the piston, which is pushing the beam down, and on this end is the pump. How it works is steam is pushing this end down, the valves are then released, and it goes back by gravity with the weight of the pump on that end. So the driver will gradually increase the stroke till it's going at its full speed, which is about 11 strokes a minute. And that'll be in about five minutes when it's fully, fully operational. Right, this is number two pump. This is pumping the water up 40 feet from the canal level, which is right at the bottom of this well, up to the launder above us, where it goes into the canal. We're at the level of the top of the pumps, where the water has been pumped up by the steam engine 40 feet and is now coming out of the two launders that they've called. Each engine strokes about 11 times a minute, and every time it strokes, around about a tonne of water comes out. 